Hello, everyone. So I just found a cool article from Electric regarding a new kind of uh, trailer for an 18-wheeler or a semi-truck trailer. It basically incorporates a battery and drivetrain to the axles for the trailer. And it's a new kind of idea, so I thought I'd share the article with you and highlight some of the cool features. So let's check it out. So here's the article from Electric. Headline is watch how range energy turns a semi truck electric just by adding a trailer. So here's a good look at their trailer. And it's my understanding they have a battery pack underneath the trailer. I think behind this uh, aerodynamic uh, wind cover here. And also the wheels will now become driving wheels instead of just free rolling wheels. So the trailer will actually be able to help push the vehicle along. Range Energy figured that so many people have thought about electrifying the semi-truck tractor, but nobody has really focused on the trailer. This makes sense considering the trailer is just dead weight on most trucks. So why would people think about changing the motive power of something without motive power? But with electric vehicle tech, Range thinks they can change that and add more safety and fuel efficiency and it can do this much more quickly than it takes to build and validate new electric trucks. The idea is to add, add electric motors and a battery directly onto the trailer itself. This gives the trailer the ability to provide some of its own torque to help lighten the load on the diesel tractor, effectively reducing the amount of mass it needs to pull around on its own. This just makes any load easier to carry. It should enhance the performance of the truck, making it easier to turn onto arterial roads, get up to speed on the highway, or performing passing maneuvers. Range told us that when it drove down to ACT Expo from Northern to Southern California, going over the famous Grapevine Tioga Pass was a cinch. The pass is famously difficult, featuring a five mile stretch of 6% grade, with shoulders dotted with frequent water stops for overheating engines, Range said it easily passed other trucks on the way up and on the way down. It didn't have to worry about brake fade since it used regenerative braking in the trailer to charge the battery. And it doesn't even take any additional communication between the tractor and the trailer. All of this is done through Range's smart kingpin. This is just the standard interface on any truck trailer, but Range has put sensors into it to detect lateral loads from acceleration and braking. The sensors detect how much force the tractor is asking for, and range spins up the motor in proportion. Range showed us a demo of how this works on a shrunk down prototype of his trailer with the handle attached to a version of its smart kingpin. So they have a video here demonstrating how their smart kingpin senses what the truck is asking for as far as motion. Does it does it need to add motion forward or power to move forward or does it need to add power to move backward, etc. So, so let's check out the video they have here. This is the range energy trailer. It's got a battery and a motor in it. This is obviously just a prototype, a small version. Uh, there's a much bigger version that will go on an actual class A truck. And this is to demonstrate the abilities. Now this is actually a heavy trailer. And if I try to move it, it's not going anywhere, no matter how hard I try. If I press this button to activate the motor and the battery, and get it moving, I have to move the one finger, which helps to reduce the amount of energy use for the truck, because the motor and the battery help push the trailer, instead of having to drag it all along the diesel in the tractor. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's a pretty interesting idea and I, I can see the possibilities for it. Going back to the article here, Range says that its system can reduce diesel emissions by 41% and fits directly into a fleet without any changes to tractors or use its patterns. It can even be used in mild hybrid mode if charging isn't available, effectively turning a diesel truck into a hybrid without having to retrofit the engine itself. So yeah, I, I think this is a great idea. and. It sounds like Range is the only company that has uh, some something like this available or trying to make this available in the market. I could it could also help out uh, electric 
semi trucks like the the Tesla semi effectively just increase the range of a, a truck that's already electric. So yeah, pretty versatile usage for something like this. And uh, they also mentioned in the article, it, it's quite a long article. If you want to check it out, I'll link it in the description. But they they mentioned there's scenarios where you don't want to have a lot of emissions, like in going into ports or uh, loading docks, etc. There's times when you don't want to have the diesel engine running so much and and uh, polluting a, a certain area. So having this trailer uh, as part of your truck, you know, you could switch into the fully electric mode and be have zero emissions temporarily. Back to the art article, the CEO, Ali Javidian, works for Tesla from 2008 to 2012, and they plan to have trailers for sale next year, though they Though we'll have to see how it works out, especially when it comes to battery supply, which has been difficult lately. And uh, to sum it up, they say, it's still early days for range, and though it's moving quickly, there's a lot of distance from here to there. We don't know pricing or availability yet, though range says it'll be in the market next year. And while the company is promising a lot, most of these promises seem fairly realistic, and nobody else is doing anything like this that we know of. We're certainly excited to see more from range as it moves forward. Yeah, I would agree. It's uh, that's a great idea, I think. And um, yeah, hopefully we hear more from this company in the future. And I think uh, if they if they can get it to market and and get some traction, this seems like uh, a pretty good idea. And maybe maybe there is even applications for smaller trailers like the one demonstrated in the video. Why not? Like if it works for semi trucks, why wouldn't it work for smaller trucks as well? But it looks like they're going after the semi trucks first, which is understandable. Probably the most money in, in that market and the most benefit uh, as far as emissions being cut. So cool idea from uh, this uh, range energy. Good work guys, keep it up. So that's it for this evening. My name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen Channel. Please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe by clicking on the wheel in the bottom right if you would like to hear more. And thanks for watching.